Hi, I'm Rick Kittles, co-founder and scientific director of African Ancestry. You know, in my travels uh, around the country, I meet a lot of people and many of them have the same questions. And so I thought it would be a good opportunity now to answer questions that you may have. Many people wonder when their results come back and one of these lineages is European, does it mean that they're 100% European? Uh, the answer is no. Remember, African Americans are very mixed in terms of ethnicity and ancestry because of the experience of the transatlantic slave trade. And so immediately upon arrival here in North America, uh, there was a lot of mixing going on. And so we see remnants of that in the DNA of African Americans. A lot of men, uh, when they test their Y chromosomes, get a little nervous because, in fact, 30% of the Y chromosomes that we test of African American men are of European ancestry. And so many of them get upset or, or, or they are concerned when the match comes back European. You know, I've, I've heard many men say to me, well, I'm very dark skinned or I'm African, you can just look and see, uh, but you told me that I'm European. What we told you was that your Y chromosome goes back to Europe, meaning that there was a European male in your family lineage, and that was part of what we see on your Y chromosome test. It doesn't mean that you're European. It just means that that lineage went back to Europe. And if we were to test 12, 15, 16 lineages, they'll go in many different places because we're a very mixed population. When I perform ancestry testing on myself, what I found was 90% West African ancestry and 9 to 10% European ancestry. So that reflects that 10% of my genome that's of European ancestry. And in fact, a big chunk of that 10% is the Y chromosome because I have, uh, I'm one of those 30% of black men who have a European Y chromosome. So having a match that goes back to Europe doesn't mean that you have no African uh, ancestry. 